At the time, I wasn't, I, I appreciate those more now, but at the time, I could just listen to Cream, just play, I just watched a bunch mm -hmm. of, a lot more jazzy stuff. I didn't want to hear. Who surprised you? Who, 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 who surprised, surprised you? Well, that's a good question. Who surprised me? Went out and I like saw something. Ooh, that's a good question. I can't come up. He brought up the fact that, and I, we disagreed. Imagine that. We disagree. Imagine that. It's never been happened before, but we do disagree and we will disagree in the future. And we acknowledge, I think, that that's who we are. Nothing wrong with that. Um, he said, Steve, who's the best band you've ever seen live, Steve? Who's the best? What's the best show you've ever seen live? Obviously, this is going to be about music and maybe live shows. Steve thinks of himself as. It's a mini. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I saw Who Springsteen. And like, he, a, like a second act that better than the first yeah, act? Yeah, I saw Springsteen and I was surprised. <laughs> like, I heard he wasn't was, that big when I saw, you know. And he was, I mean, he played for nine hours and he was, yeah, he's he, a, he was he's very, a, very good. He's a I saw Zeppelin. Man. And I, I was not a big Zeppelin fan. Um, in fact, I think I got one album by Everybody him. I went to when I was younger was like, a surprise to me. Well, I knew a little bit about them when I went to see them. Well, you know, in the days of rock and roll, when we're talking about, was you would wait, and I can remember going to some shows where you would wait for two hours, literally, not that far exaggerated, an hour and a half, but the guys didn't even come on. They were oh. in the backstage. Who the heck knew? And the famous one was the Rolling Stones getting arrested in Warwick, Rhode Island, yeah. and they had to play in, in Boston Garden. And it would literally happen where something happened. It wasn't like these choreographed things that you see now from television and video and whatnot. Boom, boom, they come out and they're done. And you, could, you could almost say, if you go to a guitar, a, a show now, you know, with the, they're 10 o'clock, they're going to go. People are going to gamble There's or whatever. There's a few now, 11 o'clock. But now, the old days was sex and drugs and rock and roll. Who the heck knows what's going mm -hmm. on backstage? And we mm -hmm. would sit there uh, for two hours waiting for yeah. a band to come yeah. on. Well, and they were great shows. I remember uh, sleeping overnight at the old Boston Garden in, in, in the winter. They actually let us in. In. Who, do you go, who did you go see? Uh, we were, uh, it was me and Mike Savaggio. And we were Another Mike Savaggio, sir. We were getting, Mike, if you see this, come. come <laughs> we, were let tickets, us know. we were getting tickets for the Who. And uh, we slept overnight at Wait the Garden. Minute. Did you go and see a show that we and me went to? Mike Savaggio, me and Mike Savaggio went. I think I went to this show. Where they asked for a drummer to come off stage because Keith Moon fell apart. I was outside. Oh, no. I had, uh, I'll tell you a quick story. I had a, I think it was the show. I may be wrong. Maybe I'm mixing a show where I saw this happen. But I went to a show at the Boston Garden. It was The Who. And I was with some people. I drove my car to Volkswagen Beetle and I locked the car. I was across the street. You could see the old Boston guard across the street. We're going to see the whole world early. Lock the keys in the car. I had to go into a strip club right next to the place and finagle my way to get my keys out of the car. And I thought it was the same night that the Who played where Keith Moon collapsed and it had a guy come up on stage from the audience and play the drums. Maybe I'm wrong, but I mm. thought it was the same night. Hmm. But they well, were, to me, the best band I ever saw live was The Who. Well, I can't think of anything We talked better. about it before. To show the, the music. Up in Tanglewood, we saw It's a Beautiful Day. Yes. Jethro Tull. We brought that up. Yeah, and The Who. That was, that was pretty well, good. We also saw you know, Woodstock, which to me was just a horror nightmare of... Even they, even I list Greg Allman, who just died, mm. mentioned it. It was just a horror show of drugs, and they wouldn't yeah. pay attention. To me, the music was second. How about one of the worst? How about one of the worst shows? Um, I can bring up. Thank you. I brought up a couple of them. And my friend James will remind me of this. We went to see a band called Mata Hoople. <laughs> Two years in a row, and it was they came out at Performing Arts Center at the point at the time was um, ninety nine cent night you could watch a movie and i'm forgetting it at the top of my head but it was a dump and you would go down there and they had this band that goes about the hoople it was they came out and they played two songs and something technically happened that i was just waiting for them and they walked up the stage i already moved them they did the exact same thing not only that i bought tickets to, i don't forget who went with me but tickets and we went back to the same show they did it again <laughs> two years in a row and we went and they walked off to two two songs they walked off 
That uh, was a tour of shows. A couple of shows that pop up. One, not a real big guy. But at the time, um, the old, uh, the legend of um, Avenging Annie, uh, uh, Andy Pratt. I saw him at Brown. And he was, was so... Was it a Saturday afternoon? He was so... You know what? I was there. Yeah. Joanne would remember this. Yeah. Really? Because he we, was He was ahead. so bad. You know, I thought he was a, great. A lot of... He stopped five times. A lot of these wow. people pick up, like Chuck Berry. You know, they they go town to town. Right, and, and they, they say, okay, you gotta play. You know Johnny B. Good, right? Like everyone knows. Tell Johnny it. B. Good. You know the Chuck Berry song. The Perry, Chuck Perry, uh, his persona. What he used to do. He used to. He, he, he would, would do that. He would. He wouldn't have a band. He no. would travel with. Oh, but a lot of them did that. A lot of them did. Well, Andy Pratt did it, and he must have stopped at least out. six times every song because really? they were they were in the right key and they. Um, and he's a local guy. He's from Boston, so he only yeah. came down to Providence, yeah, he, he you know, <laughs> that was 40 pretty... miles. My, um, Joanne will remember, my wife Joanne will remember, because we walked up, and we were some reason on a date or whatever. This is very, this is 19, we're talking about 1972, so mm -hmm. we're barely going out. And we walk up on the east side, a couple of young hippies or whatever, and all of a sudden we hear this guy playing. It's a concert, and it's Andy Pratt. So I'm, I was there at the very... And uh, she'll acknowledge, she remembers the ding, 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 you know, Avenging Annie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whether it was in tune or not, I don't know. Another one I saw at, at J. Oz Fast Lane. I saw J. The, Oz Fast Lane? I saw the Kinks there. Ooh. And they were... 19... Oh, I don't know. It was 19 uh, before, you But know. they were, they were, uh, they were... Uh, I saw, they his, were drunken, here's one I saw. Drunken lads that night. Yeah. They were not Talk about good. drunken lads, and these were a lot of the things that happened then back in those days and still happen these days. I can remember a lot of things at Lupo's. We would bring oh. up... I can remember Joe Perry after Aerosmith in the mid-70s had, had parted for a short term. Joe Perry Project was at Lupo's, oh. and I can remember the guy standing there. You could stand right up. You know, Joe, Lupo's, is a few hundred people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm standing up front, and all of a sudden, Joe Perry's playing. He was a great... He still is a great guitar player, and he was having a bad time. He was a little too much uh, Jack Daniels or whatever. And he's playing, he's playing, he's playing, and all of a sudden he falls backwards. You know, you talk about the famous guitar players and how they played and how they survived, the Jim Morrison or whatever. He falls backwards into his amps, backwards, off the stage, and there's a guy behind him, a roadie behind him, trying to hold up this everything, and he's playing. He didn't stop a wink. He couldn't, he was bombed out of his mind. He couldn't play, and all of a sudden you hear nothing. It doesn't even break a, a note or anything. He's on the, he's on his back. He's still playing. He can't even stand up. His roadie's trying to stand him up, and Joe doesn't miss a note. He can't even no. see where he is. He doesn't miss a note. I so think. is Kenny Wayne Shepherd better than Joe Perry? Uh, I'm not gonna. Argue. No. I'm not gonna argue about Kenny Wayne Shepherd because you're gonna come up with statistics and whatnot. Kenny Wayne is uh, uh, maybe younger. He's you not like that him. Young. You, you like you like him. He's a. I do. I like him. You like and, him. But you statistically, and the argument that we had discussion that we had and Steve was right. I would never thought I wouldn't even have thought Steven Stills would come up as a guitar player. I mean I love Steven oh. Stills. I love his voice. I love his songwriting. I love everything about him. <coughs> well, who was the, the guitar guitarist other than Young? Who was the guitarist? No, I, I, who, who played guitar in Crazy Does and Nash? Doesn't matter. I've took a lot of bands but they ain't great guitarists. But hmm. doesn't mean that he's a great guitarist. I would I'm serious. I would never have guessed and I still to this day, if you put one by side by each, <laughs> Kenny Wayne is better. But Steve wins the argument because the statistics and the uh, website say Steve is right. I will acknowledge it. All right, so he was right. So what's new? What, what have we been, we've been doing? Uh, I don't know. We had we had last Thursday. <laughs> we had last Thursday. Last Thursday with the guys, and there was five of us or six of us. Yeah, there was a bunch of guys. Uh, and we continue that through the summer. The summertime, summertime, well, most sometimes can be a little... Depending on what, who wants well, to show Goody up. Well, Goody gets a little. Because well, Goody yeah. lives down in South Kingston. Can and, we talk about the... And he said that, oh, I don't want to leave the beach in the summertime. All right, so can so. we get into why, you know, we what? started this thing. We started this thing because I thought it would be a nice thing. Rather go to, you know, maybe I've said this before. <coughs> I don't know if I've said it here. You could go, instead of going to wakes and funerals and whatnot, mm -hmm. maybe you should just meet the guys. And, you know, we can't do mm -hmm. much. Like, we used to play basketball. These are the same guys. It's not like it, we, we reinvented all these guys. We all, we all know each other. We've known each other as long as, as long Ticker as and I have known each other. Yeah, since we've been and obviously, ahead. as you get older, well, I moved out of the state for ten years. Yeah. And as you as you get older, and you get your family, you, you get your kids, right. and, you know, it's natural. And, and you know, it's normal. Um, but 
then we do, then as we go, <laughs> we started saying, well, we don't play ball anymore. So what do we do? Well, let's go let's, to funerals, go to wakes. Yeah, and that's kind of. And so finally, we said, you know, why don't we meet once a month? And we do. We meet once a month, and um, no rules. No rules. I don't know if we get anything done, but um, no, we, we don't want to get anything done. But I tell you what, though, one thing we should start doing. All right, we well, start rules now. What? Um, because every month, it's, and it's usually goody, but every month... Don't bring up people in there. Go ahead. Usually, everybody, it's usually goody, he comes out with the best line of the night. You know, yeah, you can't you can't recreate what some people say, and we have different personalities. <laughs> yeah, some people but monopolize us. This past Thursday was him argue a lot. You know, they come up with these one-liners, and they're so funny. But um, we're not going to put them here. But they're good times. Just just really really good times. You know times. what we should think of? What? And, 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 and it's up to the guys <coughs> who we are talking about. We're not going to put a camera on those things. But you know, we may do something more live. We may do more with this show, depending on what you want to see. Maybe we'll bring in a guest. One of these guys who you guys are always talking about these other guys. Oh, we'll, we'll do that. Somebody like Rich well, probably wouldn't want to be here, but and somebody like uh, another person. You know what? You know, maybe want to be here. maybe the last Thursday um, one time we'll we'll do it here at the house and and have uh, and, and we'll. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I think so. Um, you uh, could ask for more. Yeah. Uh, so you want to hear from. Um, uh, uh, but, Vin, or you want to hear from Richard, or you want to hear from Lou, or you want Chinch. to hear from Chinch, or you want to hear mm -hmm. from... But if, if you have a topic, Let us know. you know, we're pretty... Um, we'll put out a fan club. Especially music-wise. Uh, <laughs> they want to hear from Chinch more than Vinny. <laughs> they want to hear what you know, um, Lou says. You know, earlier we were talking about radio stations, and today I was in the car. I won't mention the station. Today's theme is music, if you haven't <laughs> picked excuse up me again. on it. But I was in the car, and, and I deliberately... Um, I was with my brother. And he likes the radio. And so I <clears> said, <throat> so, okay, so we put on the local station. And, you know, of course, I heard Zeppelin, Twisted Sister, Journey, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And um, you don't like that? No. Well, you like what you like. Mm -hmm. And they <coughs> program stations put out <coughs> generically what the majority oh, of people I, like. I can't. I mean, they know. The if you were to run a station, you know, you're going to put out Ry Cooter. And <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody's going to care. But I remember when WBIU was Trout. here. Who the hell's and, Walter and, and WBIU was underground. And you it would was. hear. You wouldn't hear. Sadly to say, Walter. You wouldn't hear Light My Fire. You would hear Backdoor Man. Or you would hear a 11 minute version but of the end. I can remember BIU, those of us who know BIU, it was the first time when it was the playing of the full, what, seven minutes of uh, Light My Fire? Mm. That was to me like, holy crap, they're playing the whole thing. There was a change, you could have an alternative between. Now you've got so many choices. People didn't realize, you know, we're talking to people that already know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. The difference between that then and now. There was a certain amount of station you could listen to. Now you could listen to whatever you want. You could buy a oh, God, CD yeah. or you know, whatever. You know, I'm fortunate. I have... You're very fortunate. Thank you. Uh, I have um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of music. I, I'm proud to say that I never... I, Steve is the... I mind. never downloaded a song. Now you can free downloads and stuff. In fact, I got... I got to show his library. I got several of them days. here. <laughs> and I never did them. Anyway, um, I'm still an album guy, a CD guy. I, I have slowed down a little bit because not a whole lot's coming out. You slowed down a lot. But um, I, nothing sounds better than a, than a damn song on the radio, though. Damn song on the yeah, radio? Yeah, on the radio. On radio. And I remember back in... Nothing sounds better than a damn song? What does that mean? You know, I could play right now uh, George Dara Good, you know, yeah. and it'll sound great. But you get in the car, go down the highway, and you hear one bird. Well, the experience. You know, oh, a, I'll a, give you a, a perfect sword, experience. A we were discussing uh, uh, the, the difference between um, um, uh, who's our guitarist, who are the guitarists we were talking about, uh, Stephen Stills and my guy, uh, Kenny, Kenny Wayne Shepard. And on the way over here, literally, as I pulled up to Steve's house, I love Stephen Stills. I love him. I hear one of my favorite songs, Southern Cross by Stephen Stills, and it reminds me, and it's exactly what you're talking about, the experience of having a summer afternoon, go to see my friend, we're going to do a show, it's relaxing, and I hear one of my favorite songs. I think that's what right, he's talking, talking about. Why? Where are you going? Yeah, go ahead, keep talking. Well, I'm not going to interrupt this. We have to edit this. Steve's going to his multiple collection. I'm going to show this later on. He's looking into his collection of... 
albums here. What are you trying to well, find? I didn't know it was. Com- I didn't know it was going to come up. What was going to come up? I talked to you before about this. <laughs> I, 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 and we're back. I, so in talking about radio stations, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to tell BIU, HJY. Would you like to have your own radio station? If I won the lottery, that's the first thing I would do, probably. You'd lose, because this time... Totally, I don't think so. I, you know what? I you remember... You make more money doing this. When, when, I, when, when, I, when, I, when I lived in when I lived in Maryland, uh, there yeah, was a DC... How, there was a, how many years ago? There was a DC station. I can't think of the top of my head. But the DJ was Weasel. Nobody listens to radio. It was Weasel. And he had a little, Weasel. like I do, he had a little bump in his voice with some words. Bumping his voice is not going to do anything. But he, I remember going down 695, going to work one, one afternoon, beautiful friggin' day, and Bog Skaggs comes on, and, and he played the whole 11 minutes of Loan Me a Dime. And on it is Dwayne Allman. So if you want to pick up... Bog Skaggs, his plus album. He was, I, he, I thought, plus he was looking in the, in the break here. I, I, I got it here. I got to find it. I know. I, I, he's got oh, it. I got it. I went out and I bought it. Bog Skaggs, I believe, is his second album. And um, well, Six people care about that. And Dwayne Almond's on it. If you want to hear a song that just builds, builds with horns and, and dynamite guitar by Dwayne, you want to loan me a dime so by, by Bog Skaggs. you want to have a radio station, and uh, that will be... Well, what I'm saying is, I mean, I mean, station. I mean... People things that six people care about. <sighs> You know, not, not everybody wants to hear Twisted Sister and Thin Lindsay and, and Zeppelin. Wait, wait, wait a minute. And, you know. Who is HJY? Or pick a station. We'll, we'll let them sue us. We don't care. They play stuff that makes them money. I guarantee oh. if they make them money, it wouldn't be on the air. Uh, and they, if they, you want to play they, something they, else they, that they, you they, like, there's no question. Make there's, money. No, there's no question about it. There's no question about it. Nothing wrong with that. You so, got it right here. You can make money, but I mean, so, you can play what you want. Anyway. Um, so we wrapping up the show tonight? Wrapping it up. So coming in the future, we, we talk about seeing Kenny Wayne Shepherd, and we talk about seeing Dwight Yoakam. Um, I'm going to see, I'll, I'd love to see Dwight Yoakam. All right. And um, we'll have the last Thursday in Shepherd August again. That'll mine. come up. It's his anniversary. He knows who he is. It's his anniversary. And oh, is it? I didn't know yes, that. Yes, it's, oh. it's his anniversary, and we're going to go. I already bought the tickets. It's on me. And uh, we're going to have a nice place. It's outside. Hopefully it doesn't rain. But go ahead. We're going to have other concerts. I guarantee. If you can think of concerts that we should go see, but, uh, we're not going to listen to you because we have our own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have plenty more. I guarantee. We'll come up with a million. And that's it. But um, that's not it. That's not it? Um, we are, are also oh. going to expand our uh, technical coverage. Or, or We're going to do a little something on, on Facebook. We're going to do something where we have a ticker and... Fur and Ticker show on Facebook. We're going to have a Fur and Ticker show email. We're going to have a Fur and Ticker show uh, YouTube channel. So going forward, if you're still interested, uh, that's kind of where we'll be. And I'll take care of that. And uh, maybe we'll see you when we see you. See you down the road. (laughs) 